Hey everybody, welcome back to a special live edition of Guns and Gadgets. I have a an update uh, for what is actually going on here in Massachusetts, and it's actually going on in a couple other states in the Union. Um, so I want to get the word out so that you can be aware of what's happening, because the chances are they're going to try to sneak it in where you're from uh, if you're in a you know, anti-gun state. Um, so last night I did a quick live stream about how certain Massachusetts police departments and towns are responding to this coronavirus craziness, okay? Uh, and some of them decided they were going to suspend the license to carry application process, which, yes, you, you shouldn't need a license for the Second Amendment. I get it. That's a whole different video altogether. That's the process here in Massachusetts, and I wanted people to realize what was going on. That has expanded. There are more towns. I'm going to give you some more towns that have decided they were going to follow suit. And I'll also tell you that uh, Arapahoe sheriffs in Colorado are doing it. Uh, Nevada is, is kind of stopping transfers and stuff like that. I'm going to tell you what's going on. I'm going to tell you what might happen as well as a result of this. So uh, the original ones are still here. Millbury and Franklin. Uh, Norton. Dighton. Mansfield, Menden, Salisbury, Newbury, Greenfield, and Medford have all joined in this uh, we're busy, we're going to suspend your constitutional right type deal. Uh, I will let everybody know that if you are in the renewal process and your expiration, your expiration date has come up, as long as you have applied prior to your expiration, you have an infinite grace period, so you're good to go. If you uh, are trying to apply for the first time and they are not letting you apply, any right delayed is a right denied, all right? So it, also, if you are due to renew and you haven't renewed yet, haven't applied yet, and you expire because of this, you're going to want to pay attention. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I, I know that we shouldn't have to have this gun permit. I realize that, everybody. I get a, a bunch of people who said that. I, I get it. I understand that part. I just want everybody to know what's going on here in Mass and other parts of the country because they're trying it in other spots and this could become widespread. So those towns in Massachusetts have suspended the license to carry application process for renewals in some towns as well as uh, new applications in all of the towns here. Some of them have done it for two weeks. Some of them have put it in for at least a month and uh, that's where this part comes in. Uh, Goal is already aware. I can, I can tell you that with certainty. And I can also tell you that COM2A uh, has said that they have received this information as well. They're reviewing individual cases uh, on a case-by-case -case basis, and they are considering litigation in these, uh, for, especially for the towns who have suspended it indefinitely. So if you are in one of these towns and you're affected by this flu scare where it's suspending your, your constitutional right, get a hold of COM2A and or goal, but COM2A is already contemplating taking action on your behalf. So check them out. Just a quick live update. Uh, it's getting worse. People, <laughs> calm down. It's calm down. They're, you're more likely to get SARS. You remember that? And, and we're all still here. So I'm not making light of the situation, but I am telling you that the me media created uh, craze and frenzy is totally unnecessary. Just calm down. We'll all be okay. Calm down. There's my daughter on my live stream. All right, guys. Be safe. Stay vigilant. Carry a weapon. If you're in one of these towns that are affected, you have to be affected. Call Calm2Way. Take care, everybody.